Oh, 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 for Christmas, my sister and I surprised our parents with airline tickets. It's been like decades since we've traveled together and definitely not since Kat and I have had kids. My dad's been itching to travel, but he can't because he doesn't want to leave my mom at home who is very much a homebody. It's not that she doesn't want to travel, but she doesn't really want to travel. <laughs> so my sister and I joked that the only way to get her to travel anywhere is to buy her a non-refundable ticket so she can't cancel it and waste the money. But, Mom, if there's one place you could go in the world, where would it be? Probably it is Hawaii, because I want to see how beautiful Hawaii is. So we bought the tickets, wrapped them up, and surprised our parents with them. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> We just wrapped it in there. Okay, I'm like, wait, did you wait, guys read it? What something? does it say? Mom, you have need to go. Oh, yes. Oh, good job. Hawaii! Hawaii! <laughs> wow, is that ticket? Yeah. Yeah. We bought tickets. Ooh. Ooh. We can't wow. we can't take it back now. You can't take it back now. It's official. It's not refundable. Oh, why? So we're all going. <laughs> all of us. Shingo. Yes, guy in here. In August. Real. It's real. We yeah. got it. Yeah. Your mom's in shock. <laughs> <laughs> like, she baby. No words. She's coming. She's coming. The baby. The in whole August, family's August. going. Your mom is like. She's yeah. processing. <laughs> <laughs> You just get married there. Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> we are going to Honolulu, Hawaii. It is a six hour flight from San Francisco. Six hours with a baby and a toddler. As tough as it is to fight with kids, one of my goals in life is just to treat my parents to more experiences because they're not really getting any younger. And now that we've started to see more success with Baby Lao, I just want to give back to them. They worked extremely hard to raise me and my sister, like 12 hour days, weekends, night shifts, just to make sure that we would have a good life. So now that I have the means, this is the least I could do to show a little bit of gratitude for what they've done for us. And even if that means we have to endure a little bit of stress to see my parents' faces light up like this, it's all worth it. Uh, yes, we made it. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, let me know. Mom, look at look at this. Yeah. Wow. Mama, you. Mama. Uh, <laughs> hello, hi. My parents don't really get to experience other cultures very often. Back at home, my parents really only eat Chinese food, so I really wanted to expose them to Hawaiian food and other cuisines. My dad can be a picky eater, so I was on a personal quest to find a dish that my dad would give the perfect 5 out of 5 Daddy Lao rating to. <laughs> Surprisingly, my parents wanted to explore a lot more than I thought they would. I kind of expected us to hang out in the hotel pool the whole time, but my dad got over the hotel pool real quick and went straight for the ocean all by himself without telling us and was there for like an hour. <laughs> but we forgave him because my dad loves to swim and this was like his first opportunity to go into the ocean in like over 40 years. So this was my first time traveling with my kids, our parents, Jen and Ken, so we didn't really have a whole lot planned out because we really just needed to go with the flow with our kids' naps, my mom's knee pain, and Jen's pregnancy. But what I didn't expect is that we'd be planning a wedding in under three days. Jen and Ken got engaged a few years ago, but never had their wedding due to COVID. And in that time, they got pregnant. During the trip, Jen and Ken had joked about getting their marriage license in Hawaii before their kid came in a few months. They were only half serious, but my mom got so excited, so we started seriously looking into trying to make this happen. But as it turns out, it's actually not that simple because in Hawaii, in order to get a marriage license, you actually have to have a ceremony with a licensed officiant. So now we had the challenge of putting together a wedding in three days and book some vendors during busy season on short notice in Hawaii. So first, we went to Honolulu's Chinatown for some essentials.
呢個 double happy 咧就係 Chinese 咧就係雙喜，雙喜 wedding for wedding 啊，一定要有呢啲字。最好係呢字咧，因為傳統性係用呢啲字啊嘛，永結同心面。嗯，呢、嗯这个铺多定开几多年啊？三十年啊！多谢晒，多谢晒，我哋嚟呢度买嘢。O K， 第一 generation 会 continue the business。唔会啊，唔会。咁呢度会闩门啊？哦，呢啲铺头唔系好多，你买呢啲嘢咧，有好多人用到噶啦。我明白，但係即係唔係咁實際咁樣咯，係有人即係好似佢呢代啲人會啊，呢代咧就唔會，佢仲走去唐鋒買嗰啲香啊、拜神啊、買紙啊、買香嘅啫。佢仲要過年過節都叫佢哋一齊拜神㗎。嗱，俾佢哋學，俾佢哋。我我想嘢，我想學啊。For all your stationery needs, go here. Connie's great. You guys ready to get married? 係我個仔嚟嘅，第二個仔。What's up? Thanks for watching, Eric. New flowers for this girl. She's getting married. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you feeling? Very excited. Oh my god! Of course. Literally. Okay, tied around twice. Great. Green leaves. We have the cedar leaves, coconut leaves, tea leaves. Typical dad, he's going off on his own. <laughs> Turning around, looking you know, at us like, know, what's the problem? What's the what? <laughs> what's the problem? Why don't you guys come? Take this to the bank. 啲牛肉都幾好。呢個啊，叫濕炒牛河。炒好個粉喺大，煮啲餸喺鋪喺面上。做呢個咧，就可以偷雞啦。即係啲粉腸都唔係咁靚，就喺底下睇唔到。俾啲煮咗啲餸冚咗佢。呢、這個都係食品啦。食品。啲粉炒得唔夠散，唔夠夠。哦、嗯、，Oh my God！ Yeah， 係啊。Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> oh my God! This is so beautiful. <laughs> Recognize nine times. And I would say today is not done yet, so that's no. the cost three days. Yeah. As stressful as planning a wedding can be, we didn't want it to let us stop us from having fun and spending time together. You guys are so cute. Something I'll never forget is just getting to see my parents get to be kids again. Hi. Hi. Mom, are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> What would you rate it out of five? Five. Yeah. Daddy, enjoy my favorite ice cream. Oh. Is good? Back for a second. Wow. Wow. A long race. Are you fun? Hey, you having fun? Ah. Hey, you having fun? Ah. Having fun. If I do this, you guys will have fun. 
Bounce your teeth. Is it too soft? Too soft, way too soft. 11 out of 10. <laughs> wow. It's blue and pork. And lao lao. Lao lao. Made with lao lao. <laughs> and poi. And poi. <laughs> Tastes like nothing. Yeah, it's just like basic food. Is that the leaf he can eat? Like a really old style food. Yeah, it's yeah. really old style. Yeah, really. Can you find that? Can you find that? Okay, huh? Hmm. This mutton, you, 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 唔係，佢應該係要熟，佢要炆到熟片仔，點點就曬。佢嘅做法同好難，同我哋廣東親嚟比較。你中意呢個多啲定呢個多啲？呢、這個多啲。He likes the lao lao made with lao lao。呢個冇咁乾，呢個乾啲。So up until this point, we still did not have a wedding officiant or a venue. So I called around and luckily my friends Philip and Kristen in Wahoo really came through for us. Philip Lemoyne is one of my closest content creator friends who inspired me when I first started me with Lao and he has a ton of connections in the wedding industry. Philip and his wife Kristen, a wedding photographer, agreed to help us shoot the wedding last minute and they helped us lock down a venue and find a wedding officiant. So a huge thank you to Philip and Kristen because this wedding absolutely would not have happened without you guys. And with one day left, the last challenge was to figure out what we were all gonna wear for this spontaneous wedding because none of us packed anything for it. My dad made some soup in the hotel mm -hmm. <laughs> using leftovers. Yeah. All right, rating dad's breakfast. <laughs> okay. Very soothing, okay. five out of five. Go on, son. <laughs> hey, what would you rate dad's uh, soup? Oh, this is one of the best meals in Hawaii. <laughs> five out of five. Five out of five. Like literally, this is so good to have Soothing. the greens. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, we did it. Mmm. I really like it mm. because it's not chose to be. Who did? Who? What? Did? One every day. One every day since I'm here in Hawaii. In this kind of hot weather, beautiful beach, it is very enjoyable. So good. This is the very really enjoyable life. What's happening tomorrow? Oh, I'm getting married. You're getting married. Hello. I think we're dressed for her. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? How late you call? It took us literally all day to find outfits that everyone was happy with. That looks clean, dude. It was especially a big deal for my mom because her daughter's big date meant a lot to her and she really wanted to wear something special for it. And for me, I still had yet to find an entree that my dad would give his coveted five out of five Daddy Lao rating to. And finally, the day my parents have been waiting decades for. Lang Tai. Two Lang Tais. Hi. Oh my gosh, you guys look so cute. Hello. Wow. Cammy, you ready for a wedding? Yeah. Yeah. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Wait, I object. No, oh, oh. You're gonna wait, honey. I want to begin by saying congratulations to both of you on this wonderful and joyful day in your life as you two have come to beautiful Hawaii to share your marriage vow, to create family with each other and to make a dream come true. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> then I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. Mm. <laughs> I present to you as husband and wife. 
Kenneth and Jennifer! Yay! <laughs> 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 Jennifer, you're going to be there. Okay. 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 I feel very excited, very happy, and very with luck. One big thing as a parent is done, and then he's super, super happy. Very, very happy. I don't see any child who is not given the most of the time. You have a good one, big one. I hope they all have a good time when they are together, and they are together, and they are together, and they are together. All in all, this trip was more than a dream come true. While Kat and I certainly had our fair share of stress and emotional breakdowns, it was a small price to pay to gain a brother and to see the pure joy on our kids' faces. And it was especially fulfilling to see my parents finally express their own desires because for decades, I felt like my parents' lives were defined by self-restraint and sacrifice. For my mom, she got to enjoy all the sweets Hawaii had to offer. I got to learn how much she loved shopping for dresses on our very first mother-son date together. And I got to see her fierce mommy Lao negotiator side come out. Uh, you're 60, no problem. 60, no problem. Yeah. Yay. For my dad, he just really wanted to chill in the ocean. Every morning, my dad would sit on the balcony watching the sunrise, having some Chinese tea before everyone woke up. And every time he saw a breathtaking view, my sister and I would listen for like this click, like, ah, oh, holenga. And it just meant a lot to us. He was also particularly interested in the foliage. Where's dad going? Dad the gardener. And of course, even on vacation, he couldn't help but make food for his family. You can take the cook out of the kitchen. You can't take the kitchen out of the cook. Not even at Lanakai Beach. As a kid, we didn't do trips like this very often. And I spent even less time with my grandparents. So I'm just really grateful that we get to create these memories together. I'm grateful that I get to document how much love flows through our family. And I'm especially grateful that one day our kids will grow up, watch these videos, and come to understand how inspiring and selfless their grandparents are. Mom and dad, thank you for everything. I love you.